All right, the main thing that I want to talk about in this video has to do with equations. And the big thing that a lot of you have had some problems with is if I have an equation, like 3x equals 15, okay? You can tell me how to solve this. You can figure out what the answer is. You can tell me what x is. Okay, of course, x equals 5. Okay, very simple. And you can go through the process. You'll tell me, okay, I look at that part with a variable, and I know that this 3 right next to a variable means that I'm multiplying both of those. So this means 3 times x. Okay, and you know that to be able to solve it, you know that that's 3 times x. You have to do the opposite on this side to be able to find the answer. So the opposite of 3 times x is dividing by 3. So you divide this by 3, which of course equals 5, so that you know that x equals 5. You guys have a firm grasp on how to solve it. But the problem is, is that when they ask a question of how do you get this variable, that x, by itself on this side of the equal sign, you guys can't tell me. And it's important that you need to know why, because the whole process of how to do it is going to come into question whether it's in testing or when you go into um, later stages of algebra and things like that because teachers are going to ask you okay well that's great you know how to solve it but why do you know how to solve it what's the reason what's the steps and things like that it's the age-old teacher question of did you show your work and that's why it's important so let me explain this so let me go back to the original problem the 3x equals 15 and here is the thing, is we need to get this x by itself. Because remember, the answer is going to be x equals something. You've got to get rid of that 3. It just doesn't disappear. We would like it if it just disappeared. And the way you guys are working it out, it's like it didn't exist. And you've got to figure out how did we get rid of this 3 to where this x is by itself. Okay? So let me show you. And this is the process that you should be using. All right. And it's kind of the same, except you guys are skipping one step, and it's one important step that explains why. Okay? Now, if I look at this, I know that this means, anytime that there's a number right next to a variable, that means that I'm going to multiply that number times that variable. Okay? Now, to get rid of that multiply times 3, that times 3, I have to do the opposite of it, which means the opposite of multiplication is division. And it's just like anything else that's in math that if you find its opposite, it's going to cancel it out. It's going to get rid of it. So for example, if I have a addition problem like this, 7 plus 3 minus 3, okay? Now I know 7 plus 3 is 10, but then I subtract 3 from it, I end up with 7. What I started with, okay? Because this addition of 3 and then the subtraction of that 3, it cancels itself out. Okay? Another example of not using addition of subtraction, but I'm going to use multiplication, like we here did here, and its opposite, division. So if I've got 7 times 3 divided by 3, 7 times 3 is 21. Then I take that 21 divided by 3, what do I get? Of course, I get 7, exactly what I started with. So these two things, the multiplication by 3 divided by 3, cancels it out. It gets rid of this. It's like we never had this. Okay? That's the point I want to make, is the reason why, when you're working this problem out, is that you look at this and you think, okay, what's the opposite of multiplication? Oh, it's, it's, it's division. So on this side, this means multiply times 3. Over here, I've got to do my division by 3, the opposite. Well, yeah, that's part, but you never clarify how you got rid of this part here, how you canceled out that and multiplicate, multiply times 3. And it's the same thing as you did over here, because what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So when you are dividing this side by 3, you're skipping the step. Okay? Technically, when you don't cancel this 3 out, when you write your answer, your answer should be, because you didn't cancel it out, 3x equals 5. That doesn't make sense. You haven't done it. So 
what you need to do is you look at this just like you did before okay you know that that number next to a variable means to multiply it so 3 times x how do I get rid of this 3 I do the opposite which is divided by 3 and Mrs. Auer have told you and I've told you that if you put a line underneath a number and a number below it that means you're dividing by this bottom number Okay, just like when you're figuring your grades and things like that. That's exactly how we do it. Okay. So 3x divided by 3, it's going to cancel these out. Now you've got x by itself. Since you divided by 3 on this side, you go ahead and divide by 3 on this side. Okay. And now you're probably thinking, oh, well, that's an improper fraction. Well, how do you figure out an improper fraction? You divide. You see how many times this will go into that. Well, how many times will 3 go into 15? Well, 5 times. That's how you do it. That's how you get x by itself. Because on your homework, there were some questions like, I don't, I don't understand what they mean by they got x by itself. What does that mean? And there was a lot of confusion because you didn't know. You were skipping that step from the beginning and solving it. And you were doing a great job of solving it. But sometimes people are going to ask you, why? And you should know by being in my class by now that anytime you answer a question, you have to back it up with a fact. And this is helping you do this. It doesn't matter if it's math, social studies, science, whatever. you got to back up your answer. And that's the reason why. So on the test or on that worksheet or on that assignment, when it asked you how you got x by itself or whatever variable it is, now you know. It's because you're doing the opposite. And when you do the opposite of something in math, it's going to cancel it out. Hopefully that clears some things up, and hopefully that can help you answer those questions in the future. If you have any more of those questions and you don't quite understand this, the power of this video is you can watch it as many times as you need to, and you won't be judged. Or if you have another question that doesn't get answered from the video, put, in, put a question in the comments, and we'll do that, and I'll answer them. All right?